Hey folks, my name is Sebastian Bleak. I uh, just got in a new headset and I'm trying out some recording software so I uh, figured I'd test it out and at the same at the same time show you some uh, keyboard shortcuts you could use in Adobe Illustrator CS6. So the first one I'll do is I'll start off by hitting Control N. That does give me the option to create a new document. I'm going based off of one of these profiles already. I actually earlier just chose web and then changed the size to the largest one. Uh, just because I like working at, at that size. So the next one I'll show you is if you hit the letter T it's going to give you the type tool and uh, before I start typing or setting any anything in there I want to make sure I'm aligned to center just uh, aesthetics I want to make sure that it's right there in the middle I'll click in the center of my artboard and I'll go ahead and type my name Sebastian Bleak I'll hit control A and that selects all of my text and I actually want this to be bigger so to make it bigger I'll hold, at this, I'll hold all, all these three buttons down at the same time I hit control shift greater than a couple times and that makes my text nice and big for me since uh, bleak has less letters than Sebastian does I kinda wanna fill up a little bit of the space so I just brought my arrow key down one to the end of the K hit shift home and that will take care of that whole area for me and I hit control shift greater than to make bleak bigger but I also wanted to just kinda space out a little bit more I don't want it too big and just kinda take over everything so if I wanted the spacing in between the letters to be bigger I'll hold down alt and then uh, the right arrow keys a couple times and that spaced it out that way for me and what I'm noticing is if I hit uh, control enter to accept that change I notice that there's too much of a gap between Sebastian and Bleak. So what I'll do is I'll hit Alt and the Up button a couple times. And then once it kind of snaps into where I want it, there we go, I'm set. The last keyboard shortcut that I'm going to show you is to deselect whatever you have selected. You hit Control, Shift, A, and there you go. Everything is deselected. Uh, this going to be the first of many, I believe, uh, so check back with me either on this page or every week I'm on WordPress. Uh, I'm doing a blog called Never Stop Learning. At the moment, I'm on week 92, and I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon, so make sure you check that out. Easy way, easiest way to find it is go to SebastianBleak.com and click on Artwork, and it'll take you right to it. Thanks.